everyone what is going on it is your girl justine and i'm coming at you all with a new video so in this video i want to talk about build up and pretty much what i'm going to be doing to combat the build up that i currently have going on so i have been noticing i've been having a little bit of build up in the front of my hair and the last two times that i washed i use an anti-residue shampoo that i usually use and i feel like it helps my hair a lot and it usually gets the job done but in this case, I feel like it hasn't been really like working for me, which is a first. And so today I'm going to be doing an apple cider and vinegar rinse. Then I will follow up with the anti-residue and then my shampoo and just kind of see if that makes a difference opposed to just using the anti-residue without doing the apple cider vinegar rinse. <clears throat> So I'm going to show you guys, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to take my hair down. I'm going to show you all where the buildup is. So I have a lot of new growth and um, I don't know when I'll get to retwisting my hair, maybe in another two weeks or so. But for right now, my hair is dirty. I want to wash it and that's that. So in the front, if you can see, is where I have my buildup. Actually, I am going to take it down. Maybe it'll be a little easier. So I think the length of my hair, I feel like there's buildup in my tips, my ends, whatever you want to call it. I feel like there's buildup there. But then in the front, where I have just like some new growth um, and where the hair is not necessarily locked, I feel like that's where the buildup is. So if you can see like right there is where the buildup is and i don't know i feel like it's not really transferring well right now on the camera but it's there but like if you look at this lock you can see a little bit right there there was a lock over here that i felt like you could really see right here So yeah, if you look right here, you'll see it. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't really think it's transferring well on the camera, but like right here, I think that's either build up or gray right hair, <laughs> one or the other. But pretty much in this front area is where I'm having to build up. So <clears throat> this is the before, and then once I'm done, completely done with like washing doing the rinse and everything i'm gonna come back and then show you guys and hopefully i'll have something good to report in regards to the like you know how the buildup is looking and uh hopefully it'll be remedied so i'll see you guys in a bit so here i have a basin of um a basin and so far i've added my baking soda i'm gonna put the water in there and then we'll be adding the apple cider vinegar. Uh -uh. Mix that in there. Make sure it's all dissolved. enough water for this first go and then i'm gonna do this a couple of times um so we'll see what the water looks like after the first dip all right y'all so this is the water after the first dip um i did it for a couple of minutes and yeah you guys saw the before this is the after <laughs> i knew my hair needed this um rinse like no one's business um i mean i've done this before in the past and you know i knew my hair was clean and good because you know the water would remain clear but in this case oh man i needed this <laughs> so this is the first step i'm going to pour this out rinse the basin and then i'm gonna apply um a second um a second 
y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more baking soda and apple cider vinegar and water, and I'm gonna do this a second time. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All right, so this is the second batch. As you guys can see, I've added the um, apple cider vinegar, which is why there is a little bit of a brown tint and a little, um, some of the like apples, parts of the apple floating in the water and then the baking soda is mixed in there. Um, so this is before I put my hair in for a second time. All right, y'all, so this is the water after the second dip. Um, I think it's just as disgusting as the first go around. Um, I'm gonna do this one more time and then after that I just gotta um, shampoo and go about it that way because I can't keep doing this forever. Uh, my neck hurt. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, this is the water all set and ready to go. This will be my third and final dip. See you guys in a few minutes. All right, y'all. Here is the water the third time. And it looks like third time is a charm. It looks pretty good compared to the first and second time that I did this. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to follow up with the shampoos. So, we'll see. All right, guys. I am back. My hair is done. Um, so I pretty much did the apple cider vinegar and bake apple cider vinegar <laughs> baking soda mix rinse. Um, then I followed up with my anti-residue shampoo and then I followed up with my, um, regular shampoo that I normally use. And then I did the, I did everything in the sink and then the last, um, shampoo that I did, I rinsed it out in the shower. So I literally just got out the shower and while I was in there, I just kind of put my hair up. So I haven't even towel dried my hair. Um, I put it up just to keep it out my face. And so here we go. So what I want to do is at least let it towel dry a little bit too. Um, just because I kind of feel like <clears throat> with it being wet, if, if all the buildup is actually gone, I feel like with it being wet, I won't be able to tell. It's when it's dry, I'll be able to tell. If that makes sense. So, um, yeah, my hair... After I did the um, apple cider vinegar rinse and I, after I used my anti-residue shampoo, my hair felt very stripped. Um, but I was fine with that because I was like, you know what? I needed to get this all this buildup out. It was definitely needed. Um, and then I followed up with my regular shampoo, which helps to bring back a little bit of the slip that my hair usually has. And then obviously... Um, after all is said and done, I will go in and moisturize, add some leave-in conditioner, some oil, and go about my day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is what the hair is looking like. As you guys saw, what my buildup was looking like before. Here is my fronts. So, right now, they look good, okay? It looks like the buildup has left the building. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera <clears throat> because I felt like when I was standing be against the door it was a lot easier to see the build up in the pictures that I had showed you guys earlier so look at that it looks good um against the, the contrast of the white it was a lot easier to see the build up and you could definitely see it but as you can see now you can see my gray hair but there is no more build up so i am ecstatic about that i also felt like my hair was very dull looking so and it didn't matter how much i moisturized it or whatever it just you get to that point where you know you wash your hair you put products in your hair you wash your hair you put products in your hair and it just gets to that point where that stuff just builds up you know what i mean and eventually a nice good rinse um apple cider vinegar rinse is definitely necessary i love a good apple cider vinegar rinse i don't do it all the time but when i do do it i feel rejuvenated <laughs> my hair feels rejuvenated and like i said i let go of the baggage the baggage being build up um that is just you know and again my anti-residual shampoo that i use i think it's really good i never had any issues with it but i think i just really got to that point where it just needed something in conjunction with it you know sometimes you do something and sometimes you just need that extra oof, that extra something to help like bring it 
you know, and make it do its job. So that is where I was. But my hair looks good. Again, like I said, look at this color. And yes, my hair is still very wet. <clears throat> it's literally dripping wet. So I'm going to towel dry. All right, y'all. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.